yeah hello friends now we will start solving this particular rail bridge constructed steel member problem in a ANSYS 2019 version so for this we have to take a structural analysis static structural analysis <coughs> then we have to go for setting up engineering data there we have to choose megapascal as a unit because here Newton per mm square is there it's almost same value Poisson's ratio is also 0.3 then close this particular part then we have to move to geometry where space claim window will get open once the window is get open use design so then command take the xy plane then set the grid value here it is necessary for us to choose properly the dimensions <coughs> look at here 3.6 meter 3.6 meter 3.6 meter we have a base uh, lines choose them so go to line command grid three thousand six hundred mm next 3600 mm next 3600 mm okay then right click and escape from here so later we have to draw a line which is length we don't know here only 60 degree 60 degree is known automatically 60 degree means it also must be 3.6 meter it has to be so again draw a line which is of angle from here if you take it is 15 30 so this is also 3.3600 mm this must be 60 degree okay. so then you join this then again go for taking the same point here so then 60 degree 3600 next join here then again from this point 60 degree 3600 then join to the last point now you have to go here taking new component new component now you join with the same line only other areas 1 2 and 3 datas then escape so here for all components whatever you have drawn here you have to convert by holding a control you have to convert these from beam lines to from here it is ok now Look, now what to do so prepare <coughs> circular area only so once you prepare circular area this area you, how much is there that you have to assign first it is equal to 3250 millimeter square so 3250 millimeter square so once you assign these, this particular area must be assigned to all lines similar way. So for every one you assign all lines, even you can select out control and select all and assign the area. Once it is done, so all beams whatever they are here, now they are showing it as a beam. So those beam you have to convert them into plus first. So here it is beam is there that will convert them into truss. So beams, beam is there, convert this into truss member. This also truss member. Similarly, here what all the beam values are there, you just convert them into truss members later. The final is go for property. So share topology or to select after this come to 
modeling part yes now you imported same thing so right click here go for a front view section so look at here all beams are assigned with the steel property or not that is done so now you have to go to mesh in this mesh you have to change from mesh method or sizing so in the sizing first you have to select all members so go for a box select select here line so all members are selected apply here instead of element size you choose number of division as one so then right click onto the mesh go for click generate mesh so now meshing is done so now if you click here and come to statistics data how many elements were used those many elements only will be there that is 11 num members now you have to go for uh, inserting our loads so how many forces are there first you check one two three four forces are there so first one is a 280 all are downward direction only so click here so insert force so select the vertex then a point select a point apply here so apply to the geometry instead of a vector you choose it as a component I want y direction negative to 280 kilonewton so this is the value next insert one more force here apply select apply so it's a vertex then again it is a component you have to choose check 210 kilonewton is there so here minus 210 next one more force insert force geometry then go for component this is also minus 280 kilonewton next last one is it is 60 kilonewton insert force choose the vertex apply then vector you have to choose here component so then minus 360 kilonewton after the forces are got over now it is our duty to ensure constraint boundary conditions among them we can go for a one phase not a fixed support you remove this fixed support here delete you have to go for a remote displacement at the location so remote displacement you have to choose here select this particular point apply to the vertex here only z rotation you have to make free rest all you have to fix them to zero value this also zero this also zero this also zero also zero it's also zero so now if you come here to the free free location x direction and z remote location must be made free <clears throat> then we will take one more remote displacement data select the vertex and apply to the geometry so here x is free then y is zero y displacement zero this is also zero this is also zero this is also zero so now everything is done now go for a solving a problem so solve the problem now after the solution is oh got over so now go for a deformation total deformation of the problem so evaluate result so now we will come to know what is the this is the animation of a trust member which is showing. So, thank you.